So yeah, yeah, we're doing this. I actually wanted to do a top five never used for some time. Actually, I had this list prepared two months back. Never got around to record it. Plus, I wanted to see how the bed I was going in never used. And I must say, my list is somewhat holding up. Magneton was on this list, but obviously he got banned. Or you? And um, other than that, the list is actually pretty faithful from um, the start of here. I'm actually surprised to see that these guys I put in this list is actually still a part of uh, the never used. And also, just as I said, no regenerator poke made it to this list, even though my hate for them is uh, beyond the earthly understanding. I still, they still didn't make it. They still don't do that much of a threat to my teams. And uh, other than that, you know, I should do the usual disclaimer that nobody really cares about. You know, this is my list. My experiences are not based on the strongest poke on the tier at all, actually. And if you can't see through that, then you know what? I couldn't expect no less. <laughs> and other than that, I do want to hear from you guys what you guys think is the toughest like pokes that I never used. Just as I mentioned, really, I do appreciate a lot. A few of the entries on this list is going to be pokes that I had trouble with during, or still having actually, during uh, battles here. And um, just for lols, really, I mean, a few of these guys are not only tough, but they actually are very potent in never used. And some that I'm going to mention are the obvious ones. And I think most of the people here has trouble with them or, you know, hate facing them. But they're great using against you. So other than that, I should actually stop rambling and just actually get into the list. So yeah, let's do it. Number five, Go Goat. Go Goat is one of those posts that I just, I never, never have a faithful or a good encounter with it. It always has to ma manage to set up against me, using my knowledge against me, really. And, I mean, the toughest variant of this guy is definitely the special defensive set with the bulk up, horn leech, uh, milk drink, you know, rock slide for coverage. It is so tough to deal with, and also I do walk in traps with this, being that it has a sap zipper to, you know, even further its somewhat high attack to be in, actually intimidating. Gogo on its own isn't that defensive at all, actually, but being that people are using the careful set to, you know, pack special defensive damage means that you're actually better off uh, hitting it physically. But no, they usually bulk up during that point, and, you know, they laugh at your mistake while they are being able to soak whatever you're doing against it and retaliate with horn to hit off. And if they don't retaliate enough, then we're just gonna milk drink. You need to deal with this thing properly. You need to get this thing toxic. That is the safest way to actually kill a go-goat. But you know what? If it isn't the <laughs> if it isn't the bulk up set, then I'll be hitting you off with toxic. I've seen lately sets that is with toxic instead of bulk up, just you know, get catch you off guard and actually trying to stall you out. And you know, ugh, I hate to see this thing surviving because it's such a denting poke, really. Sure, it isn't the highest ranking top tier folk in the metagame, but I have a huge tr trouble against it, and I still having, and while I'm using it on my own, I see people struggling against it. It is a tough poke, it's very bulky, it's very hard hidden, and um, other than that, it's just, it's a good poke. I hate it. It's awful. So let's, yeah, enough of this. Number 4. Electavire. Yeah, so this guy wasn't actually on my original list because, well, I didn't think this beast of a poke will actually made it to never use. Uh, so it definitely takes the place of Magneton from my original list, and for good reasons. Magneton might have been the more defensive variant, Electavire is definitely a more hard hitting variant. Electabuzz can be either physical or specially attacking, actually. I do prefer the special attack one myself. But I do get people that are using the physical one because it has, what is that, 123 in base attack? You kidding? That is, that is actually really intimidating because that can easily do it KO the most things. It can actually take out most common pokes with a hard hitting wild charge or even thunder punch if you don't want to recoil. What I'm getting at is that this thing has such a great, great move pool with that huge coverage been fighting it, this thing can learn Earthquake. I mean, it is this guy and it is obviously the um, Stun Fisk, but this guy does it so much better, even though, though it is unstabbed. Wow, this poke. 
such a great threat in never use. I never expected this actually, so yeah, I'm still somewhat stoked about it and I like it. I like it a lot. I like using it, I hate facing it. My biggest problem with it when I go against another with it is the people that are using it with Assault Vest. Because the Assault Vest set is, while, you know, being somewhat not as hard hitting, it can pack a few punches. You actually see it switching into special sweepers just to actually retaliate well. They are usually physical or specially with high special defensive uh, EVs and basically no speed because they want to soak the damage and retaliate. And it works great, I hate this poke. And I love it at the same time, I can't stress this enough. Great Electavoy. Number 3. Granbull. Now, this poke only benefits from its typing, I can't really stress that enough. Being that it went from a normal type that, you know, couldn't take <laughs> fighting attacks to actually being resisted against them with the Intimidate, made this thing actually one of the best tanks he never used. And a great supporter with Heal Bell and setting a Thunder Wave, I like the Play Rough Earthquake combination. Being that Fairy type is so good is because you only got three, was it, no, four Steel types in... Uh, never use so it's it's doing well there it, it has no real like natural threat even though poison types are common most of them are actually specially offensive which means that poison can actually nerf them and this guy always pack earthquake and being that it has that high 120 base attack make sure that this thing is tough to deal with always if you have a gramble against you then you need to adjust yourself to actually deal with that one and just skip anything else because you can't hit a team physically until the Gramble is gone. I can't really stress them more than enough. And I've also seen sets that I think is very benefiting. That is the Choice Bandit and Scarf set. They're very fast paced, hits immensely hard because Gramble has such a huge move pool coverage. So you can actually do that rather well. And I think that is basically it. I love this poke a lot. I like using it because, like I said, it does miss that natural threat in his tier. But I also hate going against it because you know exactly what to expect. It is it is so tough to just go around. Though props be in that I actually think that it's good that a poke like this got the like buff that it was definitely needed because this was definitely a forgotten gem from the second generation. So props for Gramble, hate going against you, love using you. Number two Spiritu. So okay, I'm going to be really honest here, the last two entries on this list was actually pokes I never thought was going to be he never used. Spiritomb, most definitely one of them. And the problem with Spiritomb is that, you know, in the, I think the fifth gen, it was actually an RU, because it was missing, you know, that natural weakness, it just, it was neutral to everything. And um, now this gen is being four times, uh, or you know, taking four times the damage against fair moves. And uh, you would think that that would nerf it, but because that never used has so few, and I mean few, fairies in its tier, it is doing still well. And you know, I hate it. It is a great spin blocker. It's a great will o whisper. It can use pain split. It has such a low HP that pain split benefit is so much. It has such a great bulk, and it can hit hard with Pursuit, Shadow Sneak. This thing has a lot going for it. And I can't believe it still are in Never Used. Don't get me wrong though, being a Slurpuff enter this really helps out, if you want to use Slurpuff that is. But for me, this guy kills it for me. It is such a great blocker, and I just, I like to, you know, being able to do something else against it. Being that I use Gramble, is actually I can't take it in the switching because I will get Will O Wisp, and I can't, I won't be able to kill it. And an opponent knows that I only got one weakness, so it makes sure that this thing is preserved to annoy you the hell out of you in a battle. So yeah, not a huge fan of this poke. Never thought it was gonna stay in Naru. It has such a great coverage, such a good wall, really. It's probably the best wall in never used, and I don't like it at all. Number one, Miss Magius. So right, I'm going to be complete honest here. I never thought Miss Magius would stay in uh, Never Used. 
So, being that it still is around and Siglyph is gone, my god, just my god, this poke has such a good move pool to cover his weaknesses. You got the access to Dazzling Gleam, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, Dark Pulse. This guy can cover his weaknesses rather effortlessly. And it isn't like the fastest thing around in Pokemon itself, but in uh, Never Used, yeah, it's, I think it's top 10 of the fastest one. It is, and damn, this guy with Life Orb is too tough. Too tough to deal with. And 17 base, both defense and special defense, might not sound too much, but if you consider the way it works, it's well enough, because that makes sure that it can survive a Shadow Sneak from a Spirit Tomb, which could be in its greatest counter. But no, it can retaliate with Dazzling Gleam and pretty much nerf that guy. Ooh. I hate this guy, I really do. And the reason I hate it is because when I'm doing a team in uh, for Never Used, I always have to keep Miss Magus in mind. And that means that I have to think of every attack that this guy can do, pack and, you know, retaliate with. And that's no fun. And even though I do that, Miss Majors can easily late game sweep me. As he can do with every team because he had that great coverage. And it's a very, very tough poke and I think it's too strong for never used. Still think. Plus he can set up nasty plots. And that is never fun. So yeah, that is basically it. I... I hate it. And I hate it because it makes my my journey never use so much tougher. Ah, Miss Majors, you scum, you. Ugh. So yeah, I hope you guys like this list. I'm like I said, I've been working on it for two months, and um, I have some honorable mentions being that both Sork, Girder, and well, more we have Nosepass, really tough pokes, and Slurpuff obviously should definitely be mentioned as you know guys that are big threats in the never use but these are the fights that i have the most trouble with and i just i hate going against them but i like using them and that's never a good combo so anyway if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe i do i try to do these top fives every week uh, different subjects next week we'll see what i do i'm thinking about doing a top five are you but we'll see about that so other than that guys you know thank you as always for watching and have a good day. Right, guys? Bye.